Welcome to the second video of the Java Socket series. In the first video, we have created a client server application where that communicates using sockets. The problem was the server could only connect to one single client. We can do a little demo here. So let's run the server, and then run the client. I'm going to split them here. Alright, so client can send A. B, C, you can see them here. Let's run another client. Okay, it's built in. Alright, let's say A, A, nothing. You see that the second client cannot communicate with the server because the first client is communicating with the server. But if we finish the communication between the client and the server, they both close and if we send a message with the second client we're gonna have an error. Let's try to solve that and um, to do that we need to use some threads. Before we're gonna create a class that would help us so it's connected to the client. This class basically would use a data input stream and read data from a single client. So private socket client socket and private data data input stream the let's name it keep the same name in convention and let's create a constructor for the socket and then this dot n equals a new data input stream new buffered input stream client socket dot get input stream same as we did last time creates the try catch and then we're gonna create a method public void read messages same as we did previously in the server here I'm just gonna copy the content put it here and here we're gonna call the server dot stop string gonna add a little try catch for read UTF and gonna create a method Oh, sorry, close. Here we're gonna close the client client socket. Close and close the input stream. All right, back to our server and let's create the threads that would run in parallel. So a new thread and we're gonna need a, a runnable. So let's create our runnable here. To do that we need to create our connected client. So connected client client equals to new connected client. So we're gonna pass on the client socket and then client dot read messages and since it's a while loop once everything is done the client should close the connection we don't want to run this thread every single time because we're gonna have to use a while true loop because we want to execute like every single time but we don't want threads to be created randomly and to do so we need to check if the client sorry if the client socket is connected so if the client socket is connected if the client socket is connected then we are going to create thread and start it all right once we have that set i believe we can remove this part and I can remove these ones as well and the client is working because we are not actually making changes the most important part is the server in this case and we can remove this okay so the moment of truth let's run the server and let's run the client okay so client one 
hi all right let's run another client client 2 I'm just gonna wait for it to build client 2 hey okay so you can see that we can send messages here A and then here B so the server could actually accept these two just for clarity we can add a new client here and when the client gets disconnected client disconnected because if this client sends this then they're going to disconnect and the server does not know that if this one does the same thing it's going to disconnect but the server is still going to be running if let's say another client maybe joins then uh, sends another message the server will still receive it let's check these changes that we have just made here Right, I'm just gonna clean that up. Let's run the server again. Run client as well. So once we have our client here, you can see that we have new client message. Let's run another instance of the client again. You can see again new client. Hey. A, B, and then if this one wants to disconnect, so client disconnected, but we can still send messages here. And if this one disconnects, we have client disconnected. All right, maybe we can uh, try to create some uh, indexes to know which clients is sending what. Uh, we can do that by creating a private private int index is started with zero and whenever we have a new client we are going to increment the index and then it's going to be passed on to the connected client let's go back to the constructor and add the int id here private int id gonna set this value id equals to id and before we're going to print the line we're gonna say client plus then we're gonna add this and then we're gonna do this and then we can print the line so that we can have an idea on which client is actually there for this new client and disconnected client we can do it as well here inside connected let's do one here can add this part client connected and once everything is good here I'm going to add client disconnected alright let's run it one last time let's run this one okay so we have client 1 connected let's an add another one we have here client 2 connected so if this one sends A we have client 1 saying A this one says Z, client 2 says Z and like that client 1 is connected and here client 2 is connected that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.